Students often ask me for methods to learn certain very specific categories of French, for example, grammar, vocabulary, conjugations. And I don't really like to advise on books because very often they're very hard to use because you have to know what you're looking for. Uh, they're very often in alphabetical order. It's hard to know what you should or should not know at your own level. So today I wanted to share some exercise books that I love. They didn't ask me to promote them. They don't know who I am. It's really what I love using and I, what I was using already 10 years ago when I was a teacher at the Red Cross. So these are books uh, from the edition CLE International. Okay. And uh, it's a series Progressive du Français. So I'm going to show you the books. And uh, it's my favorite series that they edit. I don't know the other ones. And these are the ones that I still love and I still recommend to my students in my paying classes. But I wanted to share them with you today as well. It matters to me to show those to you today because if I was your teacher in your living room, like, like your private teacher, these are the books that we would use together to learn French because their method is fantastic. And this is what I would recommend if you don't know where to start with a private, private uh, teacher in French or a friend who can help you learn French. You could go through these exercise books and ask questions to your French friend. This is a great way to have feedback without having a proper teacher. And also because it's very important for me to give you all the chances to succeed in French, no matter the way you want to learn. Even if it's not with me, it's absolutely fine. I want you to enjoy speaking French by any method you like. So exercise books might be a good option for you, especially if you want to study the specifics of some categories of French that an exercise book will be the best to teach you. As usual, this lesson comes with a free written lesson in PDF that you can get on cominfrances.com. There you have the vocabulary, the links to the books, uh, extra resources as well. You can print the PDF, download it, keep it forever. Take notes, it's really up to you. And also, as usual, all my lessons come with a free email to my subscribers, all in French to practice your reading skills in French. You can get it by going to cominfrances.com clicking on the button below the video and leaving your first name and email. And as usual, it's all free, the PDF and the weekly emails you get. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française. C'est parti. Let's learn about those exercise books. I got these books from the public library because uh, I love public libraries and it's a great way for me to show different kinds of books. Um, the first one is Orthographe Progressive du Français. Orthographe Progressive du Français. I'm going to show you images of the books uh, in the video. And it's the one I picked for beginners, débutants. So what I like about these books is that they're very structured, very, very structured. And in this one, you're going to learn vocabulary letter by letter. So A uh, obviously starts with A, A, E, O, U, etc. And... Um, after going through the vocabulary letter by letter, you go through l'orthographe grammatical. So you're going to see different tenses in French and you're going to learn how to um, write them properly, how they're built, etc. And at last you have some, um, some very important areas for beginners on top of those, for example, numbers, uh, how you say them as well. And... Uh, words that don't change and exceptions. So these are important areas for you as a beginner. And on top of that, you have also nationalities, which is so important if you're talking about yourself. So it teaches you about all the mute letters, the sounds that letter produces, tricky spellings. And what I like in these books is that, I'm going to show you a better image, is that uh, on the left, yes, left for you, you have a lesson that is very explicit and you can Take notes. This is why I highly recommend you buy them because you can write on them. And on the right, you have exercises and you can write in the exercise book as well. And obviously you can ask your friends questions about those. So they're very, very, very good. I love those books. And again, if I were a teacher with like private students, these are the books I would use 
to teach French and we would go through each lesson together and I would be able to explain each uh, concept if the student doesn't understand. You're an adult, so you don't, you don't need someone to take your hand and uh, push you to learn French if this is what you want to do. So this is why I think for adults this is a fantastic method because you can go at your own pace as well. And at the end you have a CD that you can see here that has all the dialogues and helps you practice your listening comprehension, even if this is not the purpose of this book. And you have um, a book with all the answers as well. So again, a fantastic book to really get all your spelling properly fixed as much as possible. I love these books because they're very structured and it's something I started doing with a few courses. So you have uh, Test Your Conjugation on Commune Francaise and you have French for Beginners. These are my two classes where I really go step by step on each point of grammar and conjugation. My other classes focus more on communication. But if you really want something structured and you don't want to go through these exercise books because you want videos, for example, or more um, context by me, you can go through this lesson. So you have test your conjugation, you have beginner and intermediate uh, levels, and you have French for beginners, which is for complete beginners of French. If not, you can also check out these exercise books. The second exercise book for today is Communication Progressive du Français. Uh, it's the one that is the closest to my uh, programs. So for example, my master spoken French, it has three courses in it. We go through French situation by situation. So it's the most, um, it's the most everyday French courses that I have because you're going to learn how to behave in each situation. And this is the closest one that you can find. And uh, you go through lessons um, situation by situation. So you have it's, it's funny because we are very like-minded with these people. So les achats, for example, how to buy things. The second big module is how to ask for information, how to talk to people in everyday life, conversation, being social, and giving your opinion, which is so funny because it's exactly what I teach in my master spoken French program as well. So it shows that these are essentials. And in each module, we have different lessons. It's a very, very good book. And this one is for intermediate. Each of these uh, categories have in beginner to advanced students, obviously, but I wanted to show you once for each. So communication progressive du français. This goes uh, through situations. So you have to know a little bit of French already, especially for intermediate level. Uh, but it's a very, very good book. And this is very close to what I teach in my master spoken French program. And uh, you can see here the official level. So this one is for A2 to B1. If you're in uh, official um, school, you're going to learn French by level. And this is very good to have exactly your level. So Communication Progressive du Français, a fantastic book to learn French lesson by lesson. And here you have dialogues that you can study and get the vocabulary from. Very good book as well. The third one is also for niveau intermédiaire uh, because la grammaire can be very tricky at an advanced level and I didn't want to go through that with you because students very often lose themselves in grammar. They go to, through grammar too much and they should be focusing on oral comprehension and speaking French like we actually do. So intermediate is way enough for you. Uh, grammaire progressive du français, it's fantastic to build up your French. So they go through grammar in a very organized way. This is something that, again, you're going to see in French for beginners because we cover that for complete beginners, uh, but it goes through a more advanced level. So you have être, l'adjectif, uh, le verbe avoir, les nombres, les temps, uh, le verbe aller, so important, la négation, etc. Very, very good if you're not good or you're not strong on grammar and you want to go through it step by step in order to understand what's going on. Because very often it's a bit tricky to understand the French grammar and you need to sit down and go through it um, step by step. If you don't care about grammar, it's fine. 
just go through grammar when you meet it in a phrase. But if you want to build up your foundations of French, it's a fantastic way. It will require work. I have to say it's not easy, but it's very much worth it. And this book is a very good way to improve your grammar. And at last, the fourth one is uh, also close to Comme une Française, which is so funny. I love these books. I don't use them to, to build my courses, but we end up being so close that it just gives me hope because it shows that I'm on the right path to teaching. So, Vocabulaire Progressive du Français, it's the one I recommend the less. Why? Because you have to be advanced to really enjoy it, uh, especially the most advanced one. Um, even for advanced students, it's going to be tough because it's very, very dense and it can be overwhelming if you're not at the right level. So for this one, you really have to be very, very, very advanced uh, and you have to take it slowly because mostly it's learning lists of vocabulary. On the right, you always have exercises, but it can be overwhelming and also it can be misleading to try to learn as much vocabulary because you might not be using it. So it's really, if you have a very advanced level, you're bilingual and you really want to um, finesse your French and be able to understand advanced books and advanced um, journalism, for example. But if not, it can be overwhelming, so be careful with that. You're going to learn lots of vocabulary in the other books. So you can learn a lot of vocabulary from Communication Progressive du Français, for example, and that would be much easier because it will be situation by situation. So this one is really for very advanced students and even the more easy ones might be overwhelming. So just take it slowly if you really want to and go step by step with it and use your French. Do not just learn it, use it. That's it for today. I wanted to show you these books today because you might want to improve your French category by category using an exercise book. Again, if you want to learn French with me with these categories, you can check out French for Beginners, which is for complete beginners, and test your conjugation that takes you through conjugation step by step. Recommendations from students are always a fantastic way to find new methods to learn French. So tell me in the comment area, what methods do you use to improve your French? It can be exercise books or it can be other ones. For example, quand je lis un livre en français sur mon Kindle, j'utilise la fonction dictionnaire pour comprendre les nouveaux mots. Quand je lis un livre en français sur mon Kindle, j'utilise la fonction dictionnaire pour comprendre les nouveaux mots. That's a good way to improve your French. When I'm reading a book in French on my Kindle, I use the function dictionary to understand the new words in French. If you have a question about this lesson, share it in the comment area. I love hearing from students and I love answering their questions as well. If you want to improve your French even more, check out my free 10-day everyday French crash course. It's an email course. How to get it? Go to cominfrances.com and leave your first name and email. You will get lesson one immediately. It is completely free. It's a 10-day email course. You can unsubscribe anytime if it's not for you. Join us, it's completely free and it's fun. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Share this lesson with a francophile friend. That's the best way to support my free work. You can forward the email you got today. You can share the link to the lesson on your phone, using WhatsApp or any other way you like. You can even tell them in real life. And even better, share it with your French class. They might love to hear about these books as well. Merci for taking the time to watch the Commun Française lessons. More and more students are learning French with me and it's an honor to teach you my culture and language. I hope to see you next Tuesday. À la semaine prochaine. Allez, salut!